Hello everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beasts review, and today's of which is on Grindelwald's escape. <coughs> so, on the front of the box, you can see LEGO logo, Fantastic Beasts logo, and order that's kind of similar to the other Harry Potter sets, but with Newt's Commander compared to Harry, of course, and also Wizarding World logo, the two minifigs included, and Recommended ages 7 to 14, set number 75951, has 132 pieces. And then on the back, you see it in a resting position and a couple of the features. And yeah. And to the manual, which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And all the pieces that come with the set and add for, and add for Lego Life with the Fantastic Beasts characters and add for some of the minifigs included for each set and add for the two brickheads and the sets, two sets there are, and the two Hogwarts corridor sets and the last building steps. So first of which is uh, the namesake of the set being uh, Gallert Grindelwald. So his uh, torso print and leg prints, which look good, which well capture it to the movie, and also the quite bright uh, uh, skin part of it, like we had with Sirius Black and all. But, and of course holding the tan wand, kind of like in the ZMF line. And the eyes of which were once kind of faded, also quite good. And the back torso print, also quite good. And if back face print of which, and also an accessory is this power black. So, like in these uh, superheroes, lines can tap back and it flies right off. Of which representing magic blasts, obviously. And next to which is uh, Serafina Picuri. And this sand blue color, great. And also great to have the sailor hat in the color. And of course holding purple wand, which I don't think we've seen in other sets. Uh, probably not. But also has hair prints on the face prints. Oh, which is quite interesting, which we haven't seen in a long time, but back torso print, also good. But also what could have been nice if this was a hair hat combo piece, if it had the blondish hair going down. And, and once again, it does have the power last piece. Back in and it flies off like so. And so now onto the main build part of it, which starts out with this newer Thestral piece, which first time we've ever got, first time we got an actual one of it, unlike the ones that were included in the uh, 2007 Hogwarts set, which, uh, which were just uh, the Lego horse skeleton molds with the bat wings on it, but this which is an actual piece. And we we'll remove that, and the sculpting of which is great, which you Oh, which also workable in some uh, Prisoner of Azkaban mocks. And also, same with the wings, of course, can use for other various things. Has some things in the center and that has lightsaber rods that connect to the carriage, of course. And for the carriage itself, see, it's kind of like a smallish version of the Bobaxian carriage, but also, same problem as that set is that in the movie there was a whole bunch, a large bunch of these pulling it, but all of that would have bumped up the price of this set and might be a little too much for that. But hopefully in the future they'll do some more, add, include these in sets more, but yeah. But as for the build of this, which designs of which, done quite goodly, and 
kind of similar wheel pieces as that one, but also in a smallish size and also some good sloping to it and front part which has a fixed uh, chair in it and on both sides using this like a uh, weed like pieces in black holding the rods as a uh, railing of course in the back part of which has a little luggage kind of area for that and good use of the cone pieces as lanterns and do have a bar thing to hold it up and have that round clear piece probably so it can have good uh, resistibility to any surface and remove the roof and get a little interior shot so you have that red seat which is enough for one which of course being Grindelwald obviously although you could tr try and get both figs into it but you know and also both doors open up just nicely and, and the roof of which just sitting on two uh, gold one by two jumpers of course although I think they could have included a third mini fig also seating to this scene in the movie but, yeah. but alas some good uh, techniques used all around of course And so now on to with the final verdict. So overall, this I think a pretty good set. We get two exclusive mini or one exclusive mini fig and an exclusive variant of Grindelwald than in the CMF series, of course. But and, and also with the third Fantastic Beasts movie coming out next year, I hope they have a few more for that. If you're watching this Lego, be sure to do so. And well, and also, you of course, get a good Destral mold in this, which can work great with some Prisoner of Azkaban mocks, of course. And if you're looking to get this set for your Wizarding World collection, then go ahead and pick it up. And if they still sell it where you live, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.